Alright, we're gonna play some electric. And this is just a slightly modified version of the list on the deck out, and that's only because Eviolite does not seem to work. So we get a tornado start, and I don't see a collector, which kind of sucks. And I don't go first. And we see a Cleffa. And we see an eek, so he must not have gotten anything, and I still have no idea what I'm playing against. <clears throat> um, we obviously have to juniper here, but I'm not sure if I should juniper both lightnings away and hope I get a double colorless with my juniper, or if I should just go ahead and attach the lightning this turn. I think I'm going to do. And I did get the double colorless. And unfortunately, I don't have any Pokemon here. No way to get one. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. We're just going to pass. So he stays asleep, which is helpful. And we're gonna see, hopefully, if uh, what deck he's playing. I'm assuming it's got stage twos. We see a Cleffa, so he's gonna use that to get set up. And hopefully that Cleffa wakes up and uh, we'll knock that out on the first turn, or the second turn. We do have a catcher, so even if the clef is asleep. Alrighty. So, Vanillix. And he's gonna catch up my Tynamo. Possibly switch. Nope. Now, I'm playing the Tynamo with free retreat, so that doesn't bother me too much. And Vanillite's going down this turn. Actually works out quite nice. So we're gonna retreat Tynamo. Attach a double colorless and hope for a collector. And we got it. Waiting for him to accept it. Alrighty, so I'm looking, I've got one eel and one in my hand, so that means two of my electrics are prized. He doesn't know that, but that's definitely annoying. I'm gonna grab an Amolga just as a free retreater, and the question is, do I want to go with Thunderous or Tornadus? I don't really think I need Zekrom at this point in time. And I think I'm just going to go Thunderous and there's no weakness advantage or anything like that in this game. So we can see here, even going second and not getting the first turn collector, I am already setting up significantly faster here. Yeah, and he plays a lot more than I do and has a lot more cards, so he definitely knows what he's doing. We're just going to go Tynamo, Amolga. Of 
already laid my energy down. So I am going to lay my thunders just so I can start charging it up here. Although he may catch my electric, so I'm going to undo that. And I'm actually not sure what to do, and that's a weird thing with the electric. I guess I have my switch, so I shouldn't be too concerned. We'll get thunderous. Get him charged up. He'll shoot an energy down. This is the card he doesn't want to see. And I think we're good to go here. We're just going to go ahead and hurricane. So that's really going to set him back because he's not going to be able to evolve at all. A revive, not terribly handy here. Let's see if he can make a comeback. Really his best strategy right now is going to be uh, catch up my high retreat pokes. I don't understand why he did that. But maybe he knows something I don't know. Possibly could be getting a Tyrogue. Or something that can do some damage without any effort. Maybe a Paralyze. Let's see. Yeah, I just have no idea what he's going to do here. His hand's running low. And we'll see an Eek for sure. So I'm hoping to grab a Pokemon. And that's the Pokemon I wanted the most. So I'm just going to go ahead and evolve. Uh, we don't have any energy down here. Um, at this point it doesn't matter if I pick Tornadus or Thunderous. Thunderous is going to put energy in the discard. Um, and I think that's the play here. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my free retreat. Promote Thunderous. Go ahead and attach an energy. And I wish I had a catcher, because I'd rather take out this, which is going to evolve the next turn, rather than the Cleffa, but it'll have to do. There's one of the prized eels. And I'm not really sure what the uh, stage one is going to do to me here. And I'm not sure if we're going to see it. Rocky helmet, which does work. Alright, so... Part of his plan was some free retreat, but I think what Pokemon's turning into is using big basic Pokemons. So I've got my attackers, Thunderous, Tornadus, and Zekrom, which don't really require any work. They're just set up and ready to go. My eels sit on the bench. And uh, his deck is going to require a lot more time and setup, so maybe we'll see an end later, but rare candy here. Perhaps I'll get paralyzed. Another Cleffa, which will be a really easy prize. Wow. So at this point, the ice cream is just not working. I would love a catcher again. See if we get a hand refresher. He should wake up. And I think the game might be froze. Ah. ah. He gets to uh, reflip his sleep with Victini. That's something I hadn't really thought of or considered. Um, I think. What I want to do here is grab another attacker. Not 
super sure. Because I don't need this eel. I want to hang on to this switch, so I'm not terribly interested in inning. Fairly happy with my hand. Um, still only got one lightning there. So I think we're just going to power up Tornadus. And I really want a Zekrom, but it's really not going to matter at this point in the game. My 80 damage is more than enough. Or maybe I will end. I don't want to drop down to four cards, but I could really use a catcher. He's probably... So, that happens sometimes. I'm in a great position, but I'm still struggling, which doesn't make any sense here. I think we are just going to go ahead and take out the Cleffa and uh, conserve our resources here. If I get end, I want to make sure I have a good shot at getting a hand refresher. Or judged for that matter. So I'm fairly comfortable with my position here. He's probably annoyed. Let's see if he's got the rare candy. See if there's a vile plume hiding in his deck somewhere. Although I think if I was him at this point, whew, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. He got a terrible start. Had to hide behind an eek. Never really got going. I got a reasonably quick setup. Any type of energy acceleration is obviously very strong, so Electric is a great card. Works really well with Tornadus, Thunderous, and Zekrom. So we're going to see another Rocky Helmet. I thought that already had a Rocky Helmet on it. There's the rare candy. So now I know what I need to do here. Because of how strange Victini is, I really... There's the heads. So I'm going to be paralyzed, but I have a switch. So what I'm going to want to do here is power up a Zekrom. And we're going to try and take this thing out in one hit. And we can't power up a Zekrom because... I can't retreat that to get the second energy in here. Attack him and take two damage. Yeah, I really wish I could retreat. It's what I really want to do. But uh, I think now is the time to go ahead and get uh, get our Zekrom ready. Not sure if he's just leg in here or if he's taking his time. So I am going to grab, let's see how many plus powers. So we have a catcher, one plus power, a second plus power, another catcher, and two junk arms. So got plenty of tools left here. 
Um, unfortunately, I'm stuck with N, which I don't really want. into the discard because I would go for the N and the plus power to take up Vanillix and just get that out of my way. 130 hit points is, is definitely strong. My guess is if Eviolite worked he'd be using that instead of Rocky Helmet. Uh, but we're going to get Zekrom ready to go for this next turn. I will go ahead and attach it. And uh, we'll see if he catches up my electric on his next turn. So I am going to go ahead and play switch. <sighs> my three cards already are terrible. Um, so ending right now would probably not put me in a worse spot than I already am. Trying to figure out what's in his hand. I think I am just going to go ahead and attack and uh, we'll see where we land. So we're going to go ahead and do 80 damage. We're going to take 20 damage. If he does, I think we're going to put it on one of the eels. Ugh. Just to help with retreating, although he's just going to catch the other one. Another glitch, I will just take my 20, and uh, apparently now you can uh, attach two tools in this game, and that's alright. So a double heads on his Vanillax would take my Thunderous out, and then my Zekrom's going to come and uh, clean up the game here. So he's going to have to get creative here to not get knocked out on the next turn. Bring up some eels, would buy him some time to maybe get some nice di disruption here, and uh, maybe he, I still believe he could win this game. Or maybe he has a terrible hand and uh, will concede, we'll see. Still wondering if I should have end and hoped for a catcher to take out that Victini. But I don't want to waste resources. I do run a lot of supporters. Yep, he did have a bad hand. So N would have probably helped him, would have given him a free oak. He's probably open for a catcher, because if he can paralyze my eel... So, I don't know what's going on here. So I will be paralyzed, nope, just flat out knocked out, which I'm okay with. Because I'm just going to send up my Zekron. Say so, and then we're just gonna juniper. Very, very easy decision. So, two plus powers could come in handy. We got some junk arm fodder here if it ever comes to that. Oh, I'm gonna take 80 damage on my Zekrom, which will leave me with 50. 
Flatini's not going to be able to help here. He has a retreat cost, so I think we're just going to go ahead and bolt strike. Although, let's see. I should have double checked how much damage. He should have 80, 130, 50. Yeah, the plus powers wouldn't have gotten me the knockout there. That right there is an annoying bug, though. So, two catchers. If he knocks out my Zekrom, we're going to have three energy in the discard, which is terrific. And I keep falling for that trick. So let's see what he's going to do here. want him to knock out my Zekrom. Or not knock out my Zekrom. And I'll just outrage. So, two Flipteenies here. I don't remember what the attack here actually does. Stored power, so he's gonna need two energy just to do 30 damage. on my eel would still be a problem for me. And that's the game. So that's electric. Sets up quick uh, against uh, my opponent's deck here with uh, Victini and Vanillix. Uh, much slower deck and he could not keep up with the 80 damage and catcher combination. So good game.